Hey guys, and welcome back to the Mercenary Brush. Today, I'm going to try my hand out at a challenge of painting this Inquisitor Greyfax model in in half an hour or less. I don't know what I was thinking with this challenge. It's a nightmare. Uh, so, to get a halfway decent basing material, I decided that I'd quickly apply some PVA glue uh, at the beginning using an old brush, and then dip my uh, base in sand and uh, you'll see me do that in a second and then after that thin down some Mournfang Brown which at the beginning I completely didn't think about getting out and putting on my palette like I did with the rest of the paints that I plan to use uh, so that's clever hey um, so thin that down uh, and, and you can apply it into the sand um, and you probably notice that half a dozen times I go way out of shot that's just because I'm stupid but hey you know that's okay so, uh, in the end, we're, we're, we're going to get there. Um, we'll get this model done as best we can for half an hour's worth of work. I've multiplied the speed by two. Uh, so, when I am away from the screen for a little bit, all you see is a, you know, a little bit of absence, but I'll be, I'll be back. Uh, it's usually when I've just forgotten to paint and I need to find it. So, here you go. You see me applying and now see me out of shot applying that uh, that Mournfang brown thin down didn't put enough on my palette so I thought I'd, I thought I'd go back and apply a bit more don't mind if you hear any curtains behind me it's pretty windy here in Sydney you know with all the fires you know burning everything to a crisp um, but it's still better uh, to get some some breezy air while it's around um, so that's gonna dry or at least you know start the process of drying while we continue the rest of the model and uh, we're gonna we're gonna move on now to keep that up, and we're gonna apply uh, this time some some black paint. I've thinned it down with a bit of matte medium just because I don't like the satin effect uh, that Ka the Abaddon Black um, from Citadel gives. So it requires a couple coats, but um, you see it, it works out in the end. Um, if you've ever seen and shout out here. Uh, Darren Latham's YouTube channel he talks about base coating and to do that and I did that sometimes in this sometimes not because you know panic mode when you hit half an hour time zones uh, to finish a model in uh, applying uh, paint thin and fast and then coming back to fix it up and, and go for a second coat uh, that's what I've tried to do with this black and uh, the effect of the black is pretty decent I reckon I could have used a third coat but I only ended up doing two uh, with the time that I had um, but hey, would I would I play with this miniature in a game? Yes. Do I plan to? Yes. I plan to play um, with the Wrath and Glory uh, RPG game that was uh, released last year. Um, so next, I'm applying a bit of lead belcher. If you look at the reference pictures of the image uh, of this miniature on um, on the Games Workshop website, you'll see the areas that I roughly wanted to copy. I didn't go with an original scheme for this. I was just trying to wing it to get a decent result in about half an hour because I haven't painted anything to fulfillment in a while. And I thought, now is a good opportunity to just give it a go and see and see how it turns out. So applying lead belcher all over, including the uh, Lara Croft breast area, uh, as you'll see about now. So, lead belcher is another one of those paints you might need two to three coats. Given I didn't have as much area to cover on this miniature, I decided that I could probably get away with doing that. Um, so, you'll see me go back and touch up those areas a few times throughout this, this painting challenge. Um, at no point did I really feel the pressure, but at no point am I uh, Darren Latham or Scott the Miniature Maniac or anyone of any massive caliber of painting. I just do an okay job and this is just an attempt for me to try and do a miniature that has probably far too much detail to try this with in in, in 30 minutes or less. Uh, so w once I finish with the lead belcher, we'll, I think I move on to the red. Um, and and just to talk about the red for a second before I, uh, before I apply it. Um, red like black in the case of Citadel's paint is a bit satin. Um, not all of them are, but 
Uh, I'm not looking to give it a leathery finish, so I applied a bit of that matte medium. I use Vallejo's, or Val I don't know how to pronounce it, the Spanish accent, so forgive me for that. Um, I, I use their, uh, uh, their matte medium just because Games Workshop doesn't really make one. They make a, a matte varnish, but that, that's not really what I'm looking for in this case. I realized I hadn't applied the black, uh, the Abaddon black with a matte medium mix to the corset uh, that she's wearing. So I thought I should go back and I, and I see <laughs> now that I completely missed the shoulders. I think I'll go back and fix it up later. Uh, shoulders and arms with lead belcher. Um, but here's my second coat of that Abaddon black for the, for the back. And uh, it dried really quickly on the corset. So I applied a bit more there and, and just touched it up in general. But you'll see me go back and do it again over the corset area because it dries sort of like a contrast paint would if you just applied a thin coat of it using you know, the contrast medium or whatever. Um, but in any case, uh, just touching up the black on the hat as well and uh, now applying that, uh, that red. So this is the Mephiston red applied onto the red areas of the gun, crossbow, whatever. She's a witch hunter, I guess. Uh, a bit of a Van Helsing fan here. Uh, so then uh, applying that same red under the cloak. Um, at this point, I started to realize, oh, I've expended half my time. And I've applied about three colors, or two and a half. Um, so I also realized I was pretty careless when it came to the uh, application of PVA glue and sand. And so I had spent half the time, you know, just flicking pieces off as well. Then cleaning my brush and trying again to apply those paints into those areas. But, hey, it works out in the end. Um, so, uh, yeah, keep going. I'm applying that uh, that red. I even applied to areas where I don't want it to be. And then I have to fix those areas. Uh, but that's part and parcel of trying to paint quickly, I guess, when you're not so good at painting cleanly as well. Um, but, hey, you know, just, just, just keep going. Uh, this... I don't try this to be a I'll put myself under stress kind of situation. I tried this because I wanted to do something a little different, something with a channel that has worked for me in the past, and that's doing videos where I try and paint something in under 30 minutes. Um, usually I don't give a, a talk the whole way through. Um, usually I uh, am trust contrast painting something in under 30 minutes. Uh, and they have their uses. They were pretty good uh, for video content when uh, when Contrast Paint came out because everybody was looking them up. But um, nowadays, I, I don't usually like to paint with Contrast Paint that much. It has its uses, and I do use it in this because I run short on time and the face isn't just going to happen. Um, but, uh, but I try not to use Contrast Paints just as they, um, I don't know, told to be used by Games Workshop. Uh, while you can use them as your, you know, your, your base color and shade, I tend to just use them to glaze or tint color if I need to, um, unless I have no other choices that are feasible. So as you can see here, I'm just reapplying that, that lead belcher back over those areas where it should be, uh, where it hasn't quite shown through properly. I'm actually quite impressed with myself. We're halfway through and for most of the time I've been inside the shot. I thought for sure that I wasn't going to be. I didn't really look that much while I was painting. Um, so now Retributor Armor is the next uh, the next paint that I'll apply. And that's just going on those trim areas of the armor. You'll see it as I paint along. But you can also check it out, as I said, on the G-Dub website uh, as to where those gold things will be. Uh, I also took some liberties of just putting it in places. Um... I'm probably even going to miss areas on this thing. I don't know if I'll have time to get to all the areas that I uh, often forget, like, I don't know, purity seals and such. But, you know, just you just do what you can. And just because it's a 30-minute challenge and all I'm doing is trying to show you what I can do in 30 minutes uh, and maybe what you can as well if you uh, break the bounds of... Uh, what uh, what painting is is for you like if you're a steady quick painter then uh, not quick just steady and slow painter maybe this is foreign concept to you but hey give it a go if you really need to bang out that model for a campaign or for a game that you want to play tomorrow you can do it and you can always come back that's the point I was getting to you can always come back and fix that up later 
uh, apply extra highlights, fix up base coats that went awry. And look, there I go. I just said I was proud of myself for being in shot, and now I'm painting out of shot because apparently I don't care. But hey, I'll get back into shot eventually. I hope. I haven't actually watched this yet. This is me talking on my first watch through. So I really hope that I come back into shot, but you never know. Oh, there I am! Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, so it's a bit hard to see what I'm doing right now, but uh, basically I was just trying to figure out what's next. I, I realized I needed to do some, some touching up, some, some silver areas that I, that I missed. Uh, so just reapply those again. And uh, now uh, I, I use a mix, thanks to, again, Darren Latham here. He has a really good shading uh, idea for, for metal, uh, for like lead belcher style metal um, steel. And, and that is uh, a bit of uh, a little bit of black Templar contrast paint with um, majority uh, nullin oil. And so you just, uh, you just paint that all over those areas, not too much because I don't want it to pull and go crazy, but it does a nice job of, of recessing and tinting uh, the, the silver. Um, and look, you can't even see me doing it. That's how confident I am that you'll be able to get a similar result. There I am back again. Um, so I just applied that all over those lead belcher areas and it occurred to me as well. And by the way, right now I'm just touching up those red, uh, those red areas again and make sure that they, uh, my fist in red is nice and solid. Um, it occurred to me throughout the painting of this, uh, this miniature that I hadn't, hadn't sorted out a shade color for the gold and so I was in a minute you'll see me disappear again and it's just because I was um, looking for something to use uh, right here I'm painting the purity seal um, I don't know what you call them uh, uh, paper papyrus whatever and the undercloth in uh, a mix I used um, Morgas bone and two parts you sharpie bone and that's to give it enough pigment that I didn't have to do super like like four layers to get the Usharpti bone and to get a little bit of tint of a brown like mustard brown in there with the with the um with the Morgast bone uh so that's what the the color of those is going to be but tell you what i didn't even get time to shade those uh with this but the result it's still you know it's not awful here we go disappearing for a second i think uh what am i doing Oh no, okay, so here here I'm just touching up the uh, uh, the face. So basically I've splatted black and I've splatted lead belcher all over this. Uh, and, and so to fix it up just a bit, um, to, to the hair I applied a bit of Mornfang brown just because I needed a color on there. Um, and then I painted Corax white over the face. Um, right there, uh, what I did was apply um, a shade of uh there's another darren latham inspired one of inky by darkness and corn red uh you can you can glaze with corn red first um i didn't have time to do that uh so this is how i chose to to get around that problem uh with that same color i i painted the uh, uh the cloak undercloak and the uh parchment that's the word i was looking for parchment with i uh i have uh, i've painted the bow strings for the for the crossbow bolt for the crossbow man what a day and so for the last uh the last uh, step of the gold this is where i figured out what color i was going to use skeleton horde found it behind me um it just gives a dull tone to the silver uh ideally i would have liked to have a uh, more warm tone it just didn't have one on me and i hadn't had given it the forethought when i was uh when i was setting up this um and then i would have liked to go bright um to get a bit of coolness in there as well but hey this is what you get with half an hour's worth of work um as a final step uh i just touch up the second final step i guess i just touch up some of those areas with the mornfang brown hasn't applied properly and then i get uh, some steel legion drab to apply around the base rim and with that we've completed our 30 minute challenge to to paint inquisitor gray facts for my wrath and glory campaign uh hope you enjoyed it hope you got something out of it if you got some cool ideas of what i can do other challenges i'd be happy to hear it because 
this 2020 year is just going to be about doing some fun stuff. And if you got fun ideas you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you could be bothered, check out the Patreon. Uh, yeah, cool. See you again soon.